I need a bigger desk. That's pretty much, yeah. When I started doing these YouTube videos in this little spare room we had, this tiny desk was uh, more than enough. Um, it's something to rest my hands on and sit behind and it was functional. But now that I have this big monitor, this whole setup, laptop, everything, and actually work here almost every day, all day, I just need a bigger desk for my ego, for my work. Let me try it. I want a bigger desk, something that's more professional and just um, actually can have the monitor on because the monitor is now sitting on a little crate behind this desk and, and just want it a little bit. So um, yeah, I'm gonna search for a bigger desk so that my ego, my work, my monitor, so that everything Anyway, for this video, uh, this desk should be fine. Let's talk about residual after the intro. So the work I did on residual this week was uh, very tiring and was a strain on my brain. And it might just be my brain not being up to it, but the work I was doing was just very complicated and I was moving stuff around and completely changing code because I had a I had a very tiny idea at the start of the week and that tiny idea was to hook up the devices you can create as a player so for example you can mine resources from the ground but what if we then connect that mining device to a refinery which will then refine that stuff and then the result can be put into a silo for storage great idea but so much work it seriously it it was a lot of work and i thought it would be done in like a couple of hours it took me all week so there's not a lot of stuff i can show you except the result of all this because the result was very much worth it so um it's just been a very a draining week for the brain but so satisfying to see it in the game so um hey that rhymes that that right if I'm ever gonna be a rapper, I shouldn't write this down. But until then, let's just, let's have a little look at the result of all this work. And me almost going crazy. Almost. Yeah, almost crazy. So as always, I do a little bit of cheating just to give me all the devices we need for this um, demonstration. So uh, that should give us everything we need. And then we place a field check. All right, um, flat area. We got a nice flat area, so let's move this away. Um, uh, all right, first thing we do is create a, or place, no, not this one, create a quartz refinery. What this does is it takes quartz or raw quartz that you can get out of the ground, and it turns to pure quartz. Cool device. And then we use the furnace to turn those um, pure quartz thingies into uh, silica tiles, which we can then use for the spaceship. But for now we have a quartz refinery, a furnace, and just to complete this whole picture, we add a little silo for storage. First thing we do is connect the silo to the furnace, and then we grab the furnace connector and we put it on the quartz refinery. So um, three devices, and before this week that was just three devices and nothing in common. And actually this one is new. This one is also new. And this one needs a little bit of raw quartz. So let's place some quartz into it. One and two. Now as you can see it, it's moving. It's turning this raw quartz into um, pure quartz and it has 50 minutes left and then all the information you need. This one currently has nothing, it's idle. And the silo is uh, pretty much um, empty. This is a little bug with minus one, but anyway. And there we go. Uh, the quartz has now put the stuff in the furnace. The furnace burns it, which is very quick. And the silo now has one silica tile, which is pretty cool. It's all now connected and you can connect various devices to each other. This is just the coolest example right now. And I've been spending most of the testing time on these three. So I have to still test the other ones, but 
pretty cool and it will be and there we go for the second silicata or the second quartz and then moves it into the silo and the silo should now have two silica tiles pretty cool right and we can disconnect them at any time and um can keep these connected so that we can now put some more quartz in there and it will now put this sol this pure quartz in the furnace it just won't put it in the silo because the silo is disconnected minutes left and then this there we go and the furnace will now throw out the silica tile because it's not connected to a silo so we can now grab it and uh, just have it in our inventory so originally the devices were not gonna be used this much as they are now in the game so the code written for these devices was just not ready for all these things I've been adding to it so I had to strip most of it and just redo all of it and code wise that really means that all this stuff is now not used anymore everything that's gray is now removed from the game this was all part of the original code for the devices but um yeah it's it's just not used and i've done it in a much better way now and much cleaner and much better so the biggest thing i have to do right now after i end this video is um test everything in the game because i'm pretty very likely that i broke stuff i just moved every thing around all the code is everywhere else and it's using different things and i just have to test a lot of stuff right now before i push this as an update so um that's what i'm gonna do next it's also been very interesting and a lot of fun because i do enjoy creating systems like this and now having a system set up where you can connect stuff to each other all based on values if a device is being created with a certain input and a certain output the code will take care of hooking it up to other stuff which is very enjoyable to see and especially if it works. Uh, but before I end, I had questions from people asking about the whole game loop and it's a very interesting thing because I had those same questions myself and I had lists and ideas and... All right, the game loop is that you crash on the planet and you have to fix your ship to get off the planet. But it's very possible that certain players will want to stick around on the planet and not fly off the planet so um how does the game loop work right now i have a couple of ideas one is the obvious one you fix your ship you take off well done you completed the game or at least you completed that planet and you can try again because it's all procedural no game will be the same so that's the most obvious one and i think that will be part of the eventual game loop um, it's also possible you want to do certain things on the planet or you just want to completely explore the planet and there are various missions and items and devices that you can unlock and find and do stuff with so um, there are alternate achievements or objectives you can do on a planet so maybe try to get a hundred percent completion on a certain planet um, another plan I have is that if you actually survive the planet and you take off the planet will be part of a free to play list so that you can then always return to that planet and just have a free play mode session so you don't have to fix your ship you can just land on that planet and live your life there if you like or just explore and see if you can find stuff that you haven't found um, finally and this is the most ambitious and hopefully i'll get to make it for this game um, you take off from the planet, you fix your ship, you're ready to go and there is actually another planet you can go to. You won't crash on that planet, you can just land on that planet, grab resources and as soon as you think you're done with the planet or it's not going to be survivable for long, get back in your ship, fly to another planet. For that you should probably figure out how to get fuel because your spaceship will need fuel. But that's really the option I hope to uh, be able to make. Content wise, that's pretty simple. We already have all these planets being created. Um, so there's not a lot there, but it's just um, gluing it all together. Being able to fly a ship and then select another planet to land on and maybe give some alternate missions or stuff. And maybe we can find trading posts so that we do start adding other life forms with a little bit more intelligence on other planets. A bunch of different variations of how this game loop might actually play out um, so I'm working on all those things and I'm keeping a list of all the good ideas for that the main goal is to have a 
full game that you can crash your ship, fix your ship, go through all the steps and missions required to do that, and, and lift off from the planet into space and um, survive the planet. That's most likely gonna be uh, the goal for any type of game loop I'm implementing. And then from that point on, we'll see what the alternate options are. There's a lot of options available. So um, just have to figure out what the good ones are and which we use. By the way, I really enjoy the little talks and conversations we are having on Discord recently. All these questions about residual are also a lot of fun. And um, keep them coming guys, keep them coming. If you have questions, drop by on the Discord. Really, drop by on the Discord. Or drop your questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, notification bell and all that. And I'll see you next Thursday because I'm still uploading every week on Thursday. All right, um, I got to do some uh, testing on residual now because I pretty much have the feeling I broke everything this week. And I'm not sure if I glued everything together correctly. Oh boy. All right, um, testing. If this is works, if it's done, it's gonna be a lot better for the future and all the other stuff I want to add to the game. So I'm gonna test and I'll see you next week. Bye. All right, just look back at that bye thing and it was a weird slow motion hand coming into the camera. So um, bye. <laughs>